Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here. And today I've got a review video on the Under Armour Charge RC running shoes. Alright, so first off, uh, I'm just going to look inside the box see what we got here. And here are the Charge RC running shoes, basically. And just from first looks, uh, I mean, I just think these shoes just look amazing. They look awesome. Um, I've been running in them a little bit, and I'll get I'll get into what I kind of think about them uh, here in just a little bit. But uh, when you get in the box, uh, of course you've got your shoes, and then something extra that I've never seen Under Armour do is uh, they actually they actually have uh, extra shoelaces, so you can put in the red ones. And uh, I will put in the red ones for I guess the fit review, which will be a, a second video. Uh, so I'll put in the red one the red ones here at some point and. Uh, they came out with, uh, I think, three different styles, uh, three different colors for men and women uh, in the Charge RCs. So um, there was like a red and blue one, and there was like a gray and orange. So I got, uh, basically, it's like a, you know, light green and black. So I thought that color just kind of looked best. But uh, they were all good-looking shoes, and I would have picked either one of them, but... Uh, Sizing of the shoe was hard to find for me. Um, and I also want to talk about the sizing too. But I'll just go ahead and start with that. I, ha I get, had to get a 13 in these, and I normally wear a 14 in all my other shoes. But you know, I went to finish line, tried these on, and basically, when I put them on, you know, they fit. Uh, I don't know. And now I've told you before that most Under Armour shoes run true to size. Um, this one actually, you know, just from how it's made, it's almost just able to, it's just really stretchy. Like here on the, uh, you know, where your toes are, that's how you, you know, check your sizing on your shoes. You know, it fits perfect. So, and I haven't, you know, I haven't had them very long, but I'm just going to have to keep working with them. And eventually they're going to work out. And honestly, you're probably going to have to try on a pair of these just to know if you like them because... You know, I'd tried on some uh, other shoes like this, like the Micro G shoes when they first came out and didn't like them. But these shoes, I think, are different. And uh, I've, I've enjoyed them, and uh, I think they're a good running shoe. And probably one of the better running, the best running shoe Under Armour's come out with uh, in the time that they've been making shoes. So uh, with that, we're going to get on to the review here of this shoe. Alright, so to start out, basically we'll just look at the top of the shoe. Um... But I first want to point out that just this shoe is basically made of two parts. And if you can see this part right here and then how the laces are connected to it, right here it's the same thing. Uh, and then this is just a different piece. Like the tongue and the rest of the shoe, like the basically the fabric of the shoe, are basically connected. It's kind of weird, but um, the material on the outside of this right here is basically made of Under Armour heat gear material and as you can see there's holes through this little holes uh, you can't I mean they're very tiny but you know they're for ventilation uh, the tongue is like a it's almost like this padded feeling uh, Under Armour calls it the MPZ uh, material basically uh, there's the tongue and what I'm going to point out, when you first wear them, you know, you'll want to make sure your tongue is adjusted because, like, this thing can, like, kind of, I guess, slouch down. You'll want to pull the tongue up just to make sure the shoes, you know, you. when you wear these, your toes are going to be very flexible in them. I just want to point that out, too. Um, uh, we'll start, you know, just on the side of the shoe. It's like this almost, I don't know if it's like a suede or kind of, let me read here. Um, it's really just kind of like, it's not, it's almost like a, I don't know, it's just like this rubber feel. Uh, mo most of the, you know, on the bottom of the shoe, um, the Micro G, if you've ever had these, I mean, it's, a, it's got a nice, uh, bounce to it when you run, but, uh, I don't know if I'm totally sold on it yet, but, uh, it is, a, it's a good feature that they've changed the Micro, they've, uh, put Micro G into their shoes, and I think it's a, uh, it's helped out on their shoes a lot. Um, the back, 
basically, you know, not, nothing, nothing too big or special. Um, I kind of like how it says Charge RC on the side of the shoe, the inside of it. I think that's neat. Um, of course, we've got the heat gear here, and, you know, you've got your areas where you have heat gear, so I thought that was a pretty cool part of the shoe. And then here on the inside, it kind of shows you a little more about the shoe, and kind of, um, just kind of what some of the products they use, like the um, heat gear, MPZ, but I want to talk about um, on the sole, of the, I mean, the, the insoles, I want to talk about uh, the 4D foam insoles from Under Armour. So, I've had some of these before in a pair of football cleats, and some of their new football cleats come with 4D foam, and I wasn't, I was really skeptical at first about 4D foam, because they were just kind of uncomfortable. But uh, once you like get to used to them, like they really, I mean, they're not the best insoles you can have, but they do help a lot. Um, they kind of help your uh, socks grip the, I guess, grip the shoe, you know, so you're not slipping everywhere. I mean, you can see the holes here. Uh, this is still for ventilation. Um, and you can even see here in the, in the shoe. Uh, you got, I guess, some areas for ventilation, and that kind of leads to the bottom because you can see how it changes. So there are holes in the shoe, um, and even in the bottom back there, you can't hardly see. But uh, I can show you here that little. It almost looks like a little screen. Uh, that's uh, that's where ventilation is. So so yeah, um, and the 4D foam, you know, it just takes some time to get used to it. Um, you know, it's it's not the best insole you can get, but it is helpful. But if you don't if you don't really like the 4D foam insole, you know, you might want to switch it out. And so, but I'll probably keep it in there. So, um, so yeah. Um, part two will be since this video is running kind of long, we're going to do a part two of the fit review. So just keep checking back for that. And uh, so I guess that's all for now, guys. And uh, Keep checking back for more videos here on UA Reviews. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, check out our other channel, UA Reviews 2. And follow us on Twitter. Check out the Facebook page. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. And uh, thanks for watching this.